you're watching this, I'm dead. Still flourishes in Gotham, lurking in every shadow. You don't need that mask. I know it's you, Rachel Ghoul. You allowed this blasphemy, this sacrilege. Did you think you could keep it from me? Parlor streets will not save Gotham from his record. Not now. This city is still under my protection.
You'll be dead before they get you. Your precious family. I will slaughter them one by one. And when they have drawn their last breaths, I will burn the city to the ground. You won't get a chance. Gotham is their city now. If you're watching this, I'm dead. This is a code black. This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. I know what's coming won't be easy. I can. I know you have to. I'm sorry it's come to this. Gotham's criminals to realize the Batman is gone. And you can't count on the GCPD. Haven't trusted us since Jim died. You are clear to engage. Grenade! I'm leaving you the Belfry as a base of operations. Some of the technology is outdated, but it has the gear you need and all of my files. Many of you knew Bruce from Gotham's celebrity pages. A handsome, charming billionaire. <laughs> and... He was that. But he was more than a headline. He was my nephew. He was a friend, a mentor, and a benefactor to those of us gathered here today. And to those of you who didn't know him as we did, I want to tell you this. Bruce was Gotham. He loved this city more than he loved anything. He was a protector to this city. He worked tirelessly behind the scenes to bring justice 
and equality. There's nothing he wouldn't do. No project he wouldn't champion if he thought Gotham would benefit. And I think in remembering that, we remember Bruce as he truly was. had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. How's Alfred? What you'd expect. Took him three years to agree to a vacation and Bruce turned up dead. He asked for some time. He knows none of us were there either, right? What about you? You let Jacob Kane give the eulogy. He offered. He thought it'd be easier on us if he was the one to do it. He's Bruce's uncle. Hell of a speech. All that talk about a protector who works behind the scenes. If he only knew. Catherine wouldn't be there if she suspected. I can't see the anti-vigilante police commissioner presiding at Batman's funeral. Here's something else she doesn't know. She has the body of Batman's killer in her morgue. Rachel Ghoul is listed as a John Doe, slated for cremation. And what if the League of Shadows finds him? If they drop their dear leader in a Lazarus pit, he won't be so dead anymore. You want to break into the GCPD headquarters for a what if? Be my guest. I decrypted the case Batman sent with his message. We should focus on that. I looked it over, but did I get everything? It doesn't look complete. I think Raish interrupted him while he was writing. He says this has implications that could shake Gotham to its core. Ominous, but not exactly helpful. I saw a few places we should poke around. Construction sites, a quarry. He also mentioned a Dr. Langstrom. Anyone know him? He's a zoologist at Gotham University. Not sure what his connection is, though. Let's divide up the work. We can meet at the Belfry when we're done. Get it up and running. Who gets to talk to Langstrom? Positive idea on this faculty dude, Kirk Langstrom. Right. I'll call it in on the way to the morgue. Let's go! 
There's got to be more of them here. Enjoying the fireworks! Damn it! This whole place is gonna burn down! Hostages. Better move fast. Once we can get at the data, we can figure out what our next move is. I'm going out. I'm not gonna sit and wait for... whatever this shit is. We're waiting for intel, Jason. Once we have it, then we'll go. <sighs> move. I'm gonna solve this case my way. He wanted us to work this together. Whatever. That's making this harder than it has to be, kid. I guess, since we're waiting anyway, we might as well take another look at what Bruce had on Langstrom. Crap. That must have been the secondary breaker. The primary went out months ago. I thought the backup would hold. I got it. No need. I've put in a small fix that should hold for a while. Wasn't sure you were coming, Alfred. I'll always be here when you need me, Master Richard. When any of you need me. I'm glad you're here. As am I, Master Tim. This place does need work. Damn it. We've got activity all over the city. Sweet. Looks like my plan wins. Hold up. We still need the intel. And Alfred can't exactly set this place up alone. Indeed, Miss Gordon. I have a list of supplies we'll need. I could do it on my own, but... It would be faster if I had help. You can count on us, Alfred. 
We'll divvy it up. Let's finish what Bruce started. you well. Didn't he tell you to stay out of Gotham? Dead men's wishes don't concern me. Besides, I'm here to clean up my father's mess. Which in this case is the demon himself. You're not tempted to roll the dice and toss him into a Lazarus pit? Wouldn't exactly be new territory for you. Wait! Why did he attack Bruce? Ninjas. somewhere all right okay lab notes formulas financial records research into hearing loss human experimentation and trials that looks like cash payouts to volunteers I recognize some of these jerks they're all known gang members so Langstrom was doing medical experiments on criminals you're crowding me. Miss Gordon. The hollow imaging system is back online as of this morning. Perfect timing, Alfred. Hey, I forgot how sweet your setup was, Babs. It's ancient, but it'll do for now. You and Master Bruce are the only two people in the entire world who consider the Belfry systems ancient. While researching Langstrom, I also called up all we've got on... our party crasher. Talia Al Ghul. She was a match for Master Bruce in more ways than one. Her presence in Gotham is concerning. So is the fact that she torched her old man's body. We sure that was Ra's al Ghul? His DNA was all over the weapon she left behind. I wonder why she didn't take a chance and use a Lazarus pit to revive him. Well, Batman would just find Talia and ask her himself. Good thinking. Yeah, I can double check Talia's kunai for trace materials that we can track. We should also hit the streets, find out if anyone had any beef with Langstrom. Sweet. Time to bust some skulls. Talia! You know you're not welcome in Gotham. Pack up your league and go. I'm not their commander. They cast me out. Huh. You want me to believe Raish's daughter didn't inherit the job after his death? Because destroying his body isn't suspicious at all. My late father insisted Bruce would be the next head of the league, despite his refusal. Since that ill-fated duel, all the league can agree on is carrying out Raish's mission. If Bruce was Raish's heir, why did Raish kill him? That makes no sense. I agree. It was an irrational whim. 
I warned him the Batman would be his downfall. But repeated exposure to the Lazarus Pits breaks down a subject's mind. Eventually, their true self is erased. So, instead of giving Raish another chance at resurrection, you stabbed and burned what was left of his body. Consider it a logical choice. A painless end for him, and closure for the League. And for me. <laughs> now they want me dead. Well, we both got what we wanted. You can go now. I have other matters to attend to. The funeral was tasteful. I'm sure Bruce would have appreciated it. Don't pull the widow and orphan act with me. You still haven't answered my question. No, but I can ask you one. Why would an apprentice to the cowl break into the morgue? I know you weren't following me. It's an ongoing investigation. Ongoing? Left behind by Bruce. I wish you the best of luck. You'll be needing it soon. Because once the League regains its footing, Gotham will be in its sights. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night, expecting Bruce to call me for help. And then I remember. I thought it might have been one of you calling just now. I was worried. Old habits, I suppose. You and Bruce probably did that every night when I thought I was out on my own. Didn't you? I can't be like him, Alfred. But I can't go back to how I used to be. Bruce showed me a path, and I'm sticking with it. And I'll be here to support you. Gotham is in good hands. Best hideout ever, right? This place is quite remarkable. It's certainly brighter than the Batcave. We still need to work on expanding the library, but I think Bruce would like it anyway. I know he would, because this is your home. never really knew what home felt like. But standing in this place, looking over Gotham... Yeah, it's okay. Protecting Gotham is a difficult endeavor. One that Bruce knew you would face. So... He made sure that you would have everything you'd need to succeed. Of course he did. <laughs> what? I was just thinking of that time we all made dinner together, and Tim got tomato sauce over Bruce and Bats. <laughs> I don't remember that. What? No, you have to. It was the same year. You know what? Never mind. Dumb story anyway. Well, I could tell you a story. 
It's about being dead. Then brought back to life by a pit of mind-altering goo. Hey, I, I didn't mean that. I don't know what's worse. Having a chunk of my life taken away from me, or coming back to everyone thinking I'm gonna snap! I'm sorry, Jason. We shouldn't have... I shouldn't have treated you like an outsider. My god, you're such a boy scout. No wonder you were the first. Way overdue for a rematch, Mr. Todd. Whoa. You got the Horror Classics expansion pack. How could I turn down scares and beats? <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> New challenger. Next level, Pit of Despair. Get ready. Whoa. Lazarus Pit? Yeah. yeah. It's stupid. I'll be fine. It's not stupid. <clears throat> you died. It's okay to not be okay with that. Get some takeout from Big Billy Burger. You want your usual? One bacon ultra belly combo coming up. I'll be right back. Hey. Thanks, Babs. These loads are pretty hot. Are you sure the velocity isn't too high? It'll be fine. Besides, it's not like I'll be shooting anyone who doesn't deserve it. You're at the upper safety limit. That doesn't leave you a lot of margin for error. You've seen the body armor criminals wear. Can't afford to play nice in an arms race. Not all our enemies wear armor. Uh-huh. If you believe these rounds are safe, then prove it. Shoot me. Fine. Maybe they are a little hot. Why don't you crunch your numbers and tell me what the best load should be? Great. Oh, while we're at it, we should look at polymer volume and composition. Hmm. The decreased velocity will impact expansion, but if we tweak the gel compound, we can make up for it. <laughs> that is some wild shit. <laughs> I knew you'd been in it, but damn, Alfred. <laughs> After my last tour, I chose to come to Gotham. That path led me to a life I'd never imagined. Tech-powered street gangs. Secret societies. 
Heroes and capes. <laughs> Sounds so ridiculous when you say it out loud. I thought I was done with war. All I did was trade one for another. The combatants change. The battlefronts shift. But the costs still add up. Yeah. We both have the scars to show for it. Bruce blamed himself for your death, and for the darkness that followed. But even in the worst of times, we saw that you had the potential to emerge as a better man. Some days I barely feel human. Let alone a better man. He believed in you and was proud of how far you'd come. Especially after everything you've been through. Check it, Tim. I'm opening this can, and everyone isn't covered with tomatoes. Ha ha. It wasn't my fault. Hey, the sauce still turned out great. Yeah, we all ate it. Jason, chop chop. Someone needs to get on those onions. You can't have a sauce without onions. Sure. But it's gonna need a little kick. I've got an idea. You'll love it. And extra garlic, please. Now you're talking. Mmm. So Harley contacted Batman using, I don't know, a homing pigeon and a USB drive? And that's how we got this video? Babs, help. Do we think it's legit? Bruce never talked to me about it. When Bruce worked with criminals, he didn't exactly keep us in the loop. Yeah, it's not you, Tim. But it's also not crazy to think that Harley made this up. Just play it, and we'll know. you dead. <laughs> so come visit me at Blackgate. Ooh. Wait, hasn't Harley Quinn been out of Gotham ever since, you know, her ex? Killed me? Isn't that what you meant? Rumor has it she did some government thing. Went straight. Ish. She's got something. Then we go find Harley. Now.
Deadhood. Looks like you've been eating well. Still big as an ox and twice as mean. <laughs> <laughs> been a while, Harley. You good? Hmm. Was it too much to ask you to visit earlier? You were looking into something for Batman. What was it? Wait a second. This means the Bats is dead. For real. Well then. He asked me to profile some criminals. On account of my being a brilliant psychiatrist. Guess of all the criminals he knew, you'd be the one to ask. Hey! I am not a criminal! I'm misunderstood. Look, you know what I'm here for. Hand it over. Everything is in this book. But... I'm missing my piece de resistance. I need you to follow up on this here card. That'll make it perfect. Figures you're not making this easy for me. It should be done in records. Okay. Bye. Looking up. Hey. Ah. Uh, you're back. And I got you what you wanted. Seriously? Do I look like I'm 12 to you? All available guards to red block. Play nice. What the hell am I supposed to do with this, Harley? Hmm. Wow. Harley's profiled some seriously antisocial prisoners here. Look, something's going on at Blackgate. We lean on that warden. We're set. No, 
Oh, these records go back centuries, man. The Warden's new. Doubt she's involved. How did I miss this? Oh, right. Harley's stupid system makes no sense. Babs. Hey, Babs, what did you figure out? <laughs> they all got out on appeal. That's what Harley was tracking. In every case, key witnesses were murdered. Look. They were all pinned up with knives, just like Langstrom. Bruce is on to something. Oh? I think I've got something. Oswald Cobblepot, the Penguin. He's like everyone else in here, except he served his sentence every single time he was arrested. Someone must have hung him out to dry. Might be he's willing to talk. He runs the Iceberg Lounge now. Claims he went legit. <laughs> he definitely runs more than liquor through that bar. I wouldn't know. That man would never take me. <laughs> if you wanted a fake ID, Tim, all you had to do was ask. Oswald's dangerous. And we can't forget, Harley's still out there. We have to be careful. <laughs> Relax. Dick. We got this. That goes sandalwood. Custom job. Fixing it's gonna be a pain in the ass. Yeah, just answer my questions and I won't break anything else. Smile. Viral video of you assaulting a reformed citizen is the last thing you need right now. Reformed? Huh. Guess all that time in Blackgate did the trick. Funny how you weren't able to weasel out of it like so many of your pals. Hmm. Someone's done their homework. I want to know who's handing out get out of jail cards. If you really want to go down this rabbit hole, you need to know there's no coming back from it. Never stopped me before. I'm gonna spell this out for you. With the back gone, you're not worth my time. Get lost. I used to be someone I didn't want to be. But now... I'm free. You can be too. Guys, come check this out. Dick, it's upside down. I got it. Hmm. Harley's an actual shrink. Why is she selling healing bracelets? Supplements? <sighs> what the hell's a free glow egg? Huh. Who would even buy that crap? She knows this stuff doesn't work. So what's her angle? Most Gothamites will see her be involved in one or more violent crimes a month. You know, statistically speaking. What's that got to do with anything? She's selling them hope. Oh, crap. Come to the Monarch Theater tonight. I've got an explosive announcement just for you. She definitely means explosive, literally. Coming to stop me from helping you. 
What do we say? Ball! Don't worry. That's why I made this. This little thing will give you the courage to do what you always wanted to do. An implant that lets you take on the world! Don't fall for it. Harley Quinn is the last person you should trust. I bet you want to see it in action. Dr. Q has an extra strength model. Ahem. Why don't we try this again? <laughs> I'd say you have a shoddy product. get you where you need to be. Isn't that right, Quinners? Free. This place is rigged below. Echo protocol. Now. You all did so well. I'm so proud of you. Get your free implants from my friendly associates on your way out. Dr. Q has left the building. If you see this video, it means we're all alive. A bit boring, really. <laughs> Don't worry, it ain't all bad. I got one last little surprise for you. A in muscles, and an F in showing my softer side? Huh. Figures. This is not good. There are riots, like, all over Gotham. Well, Dr. Q invites all of her quinners to a wellness party. Wonderful. Throw up the bat signal or something. Let it flush her out. It's Montoya. I don't know what to tell you, Crispus. She's a soccer mom. Just get her in cuffs, man. Hey. Give me a sec. Nightwing, we got something weird down here. We set up some blockades, but who knows how long those will last. Montoya, Harley's instigating these riots. Hold your line, we're coming to you. How many of you bats are on this call? You know what? It doesn't matter. Just hurry. Well, we have a target. 
Let's knock some heads. I don't care what you have to do. Keep your barricade up. Rough night. Aren't they all? I don't know. I'd say the jury's still out on this one. There's still no sign of Harley. This is ridiculous. What do soccer moms and yoga dads need to riot for? Dealer pricing on minivans? I'll check it out. Be careful. I'll have to do a lot of paperwork if you die. Got it. L3. Coming for you, Harley. Just like in the movies. <laughs> how you're controlling them. Hand it over. Nah, -uh. My toy. That's enough games, Harley. <laughs> As if. This has been in the works since Blackgate. Welcome to my party! Your party sucks. There's not even cake. Get out! Start running! Hey! Where are you going? You can't leave yet! You were having fun! Last call. Party's over. Party's not over until I say it is! Taking me back to Blackgate. Like a gentleman. Yeah, we both know I'm not a gentleman. But I think you're getting the hang of taking criminals off the street and stuff. Thanks. 
I got dozens in holding and a triage nurse who hates me. I'm just gonna blame you, cool? Isn't that what you always do? Don't be a smartass. I'm gonna be dealing with this headache for weeks. Ah, you'll be done in no time. Oh, yeah. I got a full desk of open cases that says... God damn it! <laughs> you tell anyone about this clown girl, I'll gag you! So you can use a door after all. You know why I'm here. They're listening. You may have questions. But I can think of a few reasons not to answer them. The rich and powerful have been getting a free pass out of Blackgate for years. But you serve time. Why? They were favored. I wasn't. Favored by who? But no one talks about them. Not a whispered word is said. The Court of Owls is a myth. <laughs> the Powers Club. Yep. Where the super rich go for shits and giggles. Might be worth a peek. Personally, I stay far away from that raptor's nest. <laughs> but you got no problem with me heading there. I lost years of my life to Blackgate. You go do what you do best. Just don't tell them I sent you. Colonel Kane. Sergeant Pennyworth. I'm sorry I had to push our meeting so late. Work never seems to stop in this city. Oh, I can certainly relate. The paperwork hasn't let up since Bruce's passing. <sighs> yeah. I still can't believe it. Burying Bruce was the hardest thing I've ever done. Yeah. Do you remember what I told you after Martha and Tommy? You said, life matters when death matters. We take the living for granted until they're gone. I don't know what the Wayne Foundation will do without Bruce. I trust Master Grayson has been helpful? As you adjust? Yeah, he sure has. Dick had his first investor call the other day. I'm surprised how well he did. Every day I find... You geezers escape from the old folks' home. Don't you know it's dangerous out here at night? Every day I find new reasons to be proud. Empty your pockets or empty the gun? You know what? Never mind. <laughs> Quite the about face. That punk didn't know who he was messing with. Come inside. We'll have a drink. Catch up. Don't have to twist my arm. Let's not be long, though. 
I wouldn't want anyone to worry. His death has cleared the way for our new acquisition. Good. However, do try to be careful where you let them dig, my dear. <laughs> As for that other issue... We've already bribed the Senators. I can assure your bill will pass early next month. Wonderful. <laughs> I abhor dealing with filth. I'm sorry, ma'am. We need to get you to safety. of the court comes. He will dictate the punishment. The court cannot forgive your failure. You will atone with blood. Don't do this. I won't do anything. And you, Vernon, do not belong here. <laughs> the last time an intruder set foot here was more than a century ago. The punishment for this insult remains the same. Did you know that Bruce was looking into the court? I didn't. There were few things he kept from me, but this was unfortunately one of them. For me too. We managed to log some voice recordings of the court, but they're difficult to make out. You sure? You just forget they had play. Tim. You know, you weren't the first Robin, kid. Or the second. A bunch of files got corrupted. I'll run some diagnostics, see what I can recover. Let's see if Master Bruce left us any more clues. Margie, the tattooed lady, would tell us stories about the court back at Haley's Circus. He used to say they were watching and they'd steal us away if we gave a bad performance. Always assumed it was just circus legend. Not at all. There are a number of references to the court in Gotham's history, but nothing concrete. I can't authenticate any of these sources. Supposedly some wingnut wrote a tell-all book about them. But it's a legend in and of itself, so... Shame, really. 
Such a work would have made a wonderful addition to the library. The earliest version of the court rhyme is from the 1700s. And says they're after the fountain of youth. <laughs> Seem pretty kill happy for people who want eternal life. Those aren't mutually exclusive. There were a lot of bodies in that pit. And one of them was holding this. Might open something useful. Our scans revealed an isotope embedded in the metal. It definitely has a match. It's a key. So? Let's find the door. Proteges would come eventually. You've been busy, Freeze. I stopped your boys from taking Star Labs data. Whatever my associates are after is their business. I had what I came for. So why are you here? What was worth killing those guards for? My time is valuable. I will not waste any more of it talking to you! Halon system compromised. Please vacate the area. We're running out of air! Help us! Use the rail! spoke earlier. Thank God you came when you did. Good work getting the call out. He took all of our cryo gel. It's enough to drain the thermal energy from Gotham three times over. That would freeze the entire city. We won't let that happen. Sit tight. GCPD will be here soon. Tell them everything you told me. I will. Again, thank you. We need to find that cryogel. And take down Freeze. He killed that scientist. Just to spite us. And then... He got away! He said it was Batman's fault. Bruce promised him a cure for his condition. And in return, Freeze is supposed to behave. But I guess with Bruce gone, he's back in the game. What have you got, Tim? Judging from the list of stolen items, I'd say he's looking to upgrade his exosuit. And that's just for starters. He also downloaded local weather balloon data for the past 10 years. Let's go back out there and stop Breeze before he kills anyone else. 
Yes! Easy, Tiger. We'll get him. Maybe that's enough practice for today. I've set the back computer to monitor the city for high concentrations of cryogel. Meanwhile, we should keep tabs on anyone working for Freeze, which should be easy since he decks out all of his lackeys with cryo guns. Is this something in the weather report about an ice age? Be advised, extreme weather events in progress. Temperatures have fallen 60 degrees in just minutes. An extreme cold front? Weather doesn't do that. Not without some help. Freeze. Freeze can make weather now? Freeze can make weather now. The storm is localized around Elliott Center. We need to get there now. Planted the field disruptor. It's charging. Get away from my storm engine! What? This piece of junk? Clear out now, or you'll regret it. Irrelevant! I already have what I need! A storm has risen over Gotham. Nothing can stop it. You're gonna pay for what you've done here. Not so tough now, huh, Freeze? System overload. Cryogel cycling offline. Hard reset required. Can't believe I'm doing this. Yeah, yeah. System reset successful. Cryogel cycling online. You dead in there? You should have let me die. It would have been so much easier for you. <laughs> the weather machine is offline and the storm is clearing. That ungrateful bastard said I should have let him die. Maybe he's right. Victor always had the potential to bring disaster to Gotham. Until tonight, a kernel of humanity stopped him. And now, it's up to me. don't have much time. Take the drone. It'll get you to the prison faster. Now, 
Nothing can stop what's coming. the harbor we need to get everyone clear that will change nothing soon nowhere will be safe Freeze. There's nothing left for you to do but surrender. This... This was meant to be my greatest creation. You could have started over. Your life didn't have to be about revenge. don't understand. Clayface fell in a turbine when he last fought Batman. How is he still alive? I'm not sure. He was torn to shreds. And yet, here we are. Just getting blended like a smoothie wasn't enough for him. So, what did we learn about our new friend? Well, I've studied Clayface's DNA before, and this is unlike anything I've ever seen. The structure's constantly changing. It's... It's like it can't reassemble itself. We're talking damaged nucleotides. Unstable phosphate groupings and synthesis abnormalities. I mean, abnormal even for Clayface. This sample seems especially disorganized, like, like it's trying to be five things at once. Oh, maybe it's because these pieces of him on their own aren't enough for him to stabilize into a singular conscious entity. <clears throat> you guys are doing your nerd thing again. Sorry. Clayface might be in too many places at once, and he's having trouble being anything because of it. But the more that Clayface comes together, the stronger and smarter he gets. We definitely do not want that. But what if he's already conscious? I mean, we can't just leave him like this. Putting him back together could endanger the whole city. We can't take that chance. Either way, it doesn't do us any good if we don't know where he is. The reservoir is connected to the city's aqueduct system. He could be anywhere. Oh, 
There are probably still bits of him in the water, too. It's nice knowing you, Jason. <laughs> He'll be fine. Probably. I'll scan the city for the Clay's unique signature. I'll let you all know if I find something. Yeah, have fun with that. making things up now. Your sorry ass fell into the turbine by accident. Batman was there to rescue your hostages, not kill you. How would you know? You weren't there! I saw the security tapes. You didn't have shit to do with it. If Batman wants me to change the script, Tell him to come down here himself. Let him come. He can't. He's dead, Clayface. But he was at the reservoir just a few days ago. Oh, man. You really don't know. It's been almost a year. Dead, Basil. Hear me? Deal with it. This biopic is based on a true story. My story. And I won't let you ruin it. Belfry, Clayface got away. I'm coming back. Grabbing them would take way too long. Hey, maybe we could use this one as bait. Oh? Mm -mm. This is going nowhere.
Did you break something again? Huh. Looks like they're headed north now. Uh, Tim, but Clay's moving. It does that sometimes. It's fine. Tim? Shit! Tim, it went down the drain. Why didn't you warn me? I did. He totally did. Guys, get over here! Every piece of clay face in town is headed for the reservoir. Great. Then we can take them all out at once. You saw what happened. If they blocked the pipes like they did here, it would build a lot of pressure. If the dam burst, it would flood North Gotham. We wouldn't have time to evacuate. I'll call Montoya and let her know what's going on. Closed. Belfry, Clayface looks done. Are you certain we're still detecting something? Readings are spiking. You must evacuate now. I'm sending the bat cycle to your location. Did you really think it would be that easy? <laughs>
Looks like you had some fun. You ought to get my kick somewhere. And now you get to write it all up. Just another day at the office. Stopping a clay monster from drowning the city isn't the weirdest thing I've ever done. You and me both. Gotham keeps us guessing. And busy. The Commissioner wants me to bag and tag each piece of clay individually. Thank you for that. Sounds like a hard ass if you ask me. <laughs> That's the understatement of the year. I swear, if you spandex people weren't so useful, I... Why do I even bother? Ugh. You don't understand your place. We earned our power. We shaped Gotham into the great city she is today. We are the protectors, not you. You're just bats. And I'll devour bats. Court of Owls is watching, from inside of Gotham's walls. They lurk in every shadow, and they rule you, one and all. You knew we'd find the court. You were just waiting for us to stick our necks out. When I was still part of the League, we observed the court's growth in Gotham. Now you can see the city's rotten core. They're mining something called Dionysium. And it smells like Lazarus pit water to me. A foul substitute for the true miracle. A contaminated extract. For centuries, the court has been looking for a fountain of youth. Instead, they found the makings of undying monsters. Hmm. So they're using Dionysium to make talons, then. What do you know? Huh. 
So why doesn't the League make a deal? Trade the court some green goo in exchange for mindless Talon ninjas. <laughs> Even in their current debased state, the League would never descend to such banality. And the court's greed and corruption prevent them from ever mastering the secrets of the Lazarus Pits. <laughs> you turned a chemical reaction into some kind of bullshit holy ritual. Oh, those are some harsh words. That ceremony resurrected you, Jason. I knew it was you, Talia. That pit scrambled my mind, but I'm still a damn good detective. I suppose gratitude was too much to expect in exchange for another stab at life. After all the shit you've done to me, I don't owe you anything. With Bruce gone, the court's operation grows. The League of Shadows will raise Gotham to the ground unless you silence the court. Cut the talking in Riddle's bullshit. You want us to get rid of the voice so the League will leave Gotham alone. What's in it for you, though, hmm? I'll do what I can to distract the League. And your path to the Court of Owls will be clear. Hey, Alfred, did the city records turn up anything? They didn't. According to the city permits, there's been no mining in Gotham City since the cauldron was completed. Judging from what we found last night, They've been digging down there for centuries. Hmm. Give this a listen, Alfred. Babs managed to repair some of the court voice recordings. Dionysium brought the Talons back to life. Sort of. Dionysium's basically weak as hell Lazarus pit water. Brings back motor functions. But uh, free will's as good as gone. So what is a Talon, exactly? Some kind of feral zombie assassin? We've all seen weirder shit. Maybe. Feral zombie? Sounds like Jason, all right. <laughs> I recognize a voice. The older woman is Constance Cobblepot, I'm fairly certain. And the others? More difficult to say. Maybe if I heard them in person. In person? Tim, put the waveforms on the screen. It's hard to find a match with all the damage and voice modulation. Maybe the matching system would have better luck if- We match what we have against the live voices. Fun, but how do we find these jackasses? Two words. Orchard Hotel. The Masquerade. The event of the season. This year's dedicated to Master Bruce. Gotham's rich, dress up, and pretend they're humanitarians. I've been a few times. So it's Dirtbag Central. With so many of Gotham's elite together, security at the Masquerade will be tight. Finding out their plans first would give you an important advantage. I'll tweak our masks to record telescopic audio. If we can get a good vantage point, we may be able to put some faces to these mystery voices. Sounds like our kind of party. to present our host for the evening. Seriously? If that's the voice, he's not even trying to hide it. Thank you all for the warm welcome. But tonight is not about me. We are here to remember one of Gotham's greatest sons, Bruce Wayne. Now, you all knew the Playboy. I knew his charity. A brash defender of Gotham's best. Though he's gone now, Bruce's contributions to this city 
will be felt for decades to come. This is for you, Bruce. The last of our precious Wayne family. You've helped us in ways you never realized. And may we, the surviving families of Gotham, strive to live up to your inimitable legacy. Someone had to stop you from destroying Gotham. Destroy Gotham? No, we're trying to save her. Preserve her glory. I understand now the potential you could have to do the same. Oh. Power and glory. Mm. Never had that offer from a weirdo in a mask. The only one hiding behind a mask. Is you, Mr. Todd. Jacob Kane? How? How do you know? I know. Just like I knew my nephew Bruce was out there, keeping the peace in his armored pajamas. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't tell anyone. Call it loyalty to Martha. We all live double lives, trying to shelter the city from chaos. It's just, our court is quieter about it. The people of Gotham will find out you've been playing with their lives. They're not your toys. Yeah, Batman would probably say the same thing in your position. That's why I never told Bruce about the court. We have the same ends, the same enemies, it's madness. You're not serving us. I stopped killing people. <laughs> A difference in tactics, I'll admit. You say you protect Gotham, but you're racking up a body count. Kirk Langstrom, his assistant... Those who betray us will suffer for it. Langstrom betrayed the court. Bruce gave everything to save this city. You fight for yourselves. He would never have supported this. Do not use my nephew against me. I mourn Bruce. I want answers for his death, just like you. I am nothing like you, Jacob. Understood. I protected Bruce, but I won't protect you. If you won't join us, I'm afraid you'll have to join Lanks. Security breach. We're under attack in the ballroom. They came out of nowhere. Clearly, I have bigger problems right now. Just stay out of my way. You won't like what happens next. and brightest at the Orchard Hotel is a new low for the city of Gotham. It is time for the real heroes, the GCPD, to step up and restore order in our city. To take it back. Yeesh. 
Surprisingly, Commissioner Kane isn't a match for any of the voices we collected. Hey! She may not be a court member, but the Commissioner could still be helping them. She did marry Jacob. Catherine is probably not aware of her husband's secret. I know Jacob well, and have never had even the slightest suspicion. Colonel Asshole fooled everyone. Even Bruce. The other people we matched at the ball. John Wycliffe? Isabella Haas? Maria Powers? All killed at the hotel by the League. Colonel Kane's the only member we know survived for sure. And probably Old Lady Cobblepot. She's unaccounted for. And the court is clearly much bigger than Jacob Kane and Constance Cobblepot. The almighty voice was right, you know. No one will believe a nursery rhyme's been pulling Gotham's strings for so long. But people will believe that Jacob Kane conspired to murder Langstrom. We have the evidence to prove it. Let's get this to Detective Montoya. See if it's enough for her to build her case. I'll be sure to include our list of known members, dead or otherwise. We need to be careful about this. Jacob will be waiting for us to try something. Someone should talk to Talia. The court and the League are clearly out to kill each other. Then let's be ready when we're caught in between them. Could have told us your league was planning a murder spree at the charity ball. Does this look like my league? Did they decapitate the court? Did you? No. Despite all the killings, the voice is still alive. Then the league will keep attacking, regardless of collateral damage. And the court will send their talons to retaliate. How many of Gotham's citizens will die in the crossfire, Talia? Countless. The league will decimate the city. And the court is preparing something even more impressive. And that is? Langstrom wrote that living subjects could create more powerful talents. I don't want to be around when they get out. What else do you know about what Langstrom was doing? As much as I've liked our chats, Gotham is getting decidedly unfriendly. Don't come looking for me. I've uploaded the data we got from Hendrix. It should be ready soon. I've seen Bruce make that same face when he got stuck on a case. What's on your mind? Everything starts with Ra's al Ghul attacking Batman, but I, I can't figure out how it connects. You've never had to fight the League, have you? Raish is, was, a fanatic. He formed the League of Shadows centuries ago to root out corruption all over the world. His philosophy, if you want to call it that, is that he should destroy things to build them back up. He's wiped out multiple cities over the centuries. He set his sights on Gotham. Batman stopped him. He was impressed. So he named Bruce his heir. That suddenly, even though Bruce said no thanks. But it meant Raish left Gotham alone. That is until he showed up and... Bruce. Talia says Raish was behaving erratically when he died. Yeah. I put money on that not being the whole story.
Hang on. What if our starting point is earlier? Batman died while he was investigating the Court of Owls. You think Raish found out about it? But why come after his heir? Raish cares about two things. Rooting out corruption and protecting the Lazarus Pits. So if the Court was using an extract from the pits to create talents... Raish blows a gasket, steps in himself. Things escalate, both he and Bruce end up dead. And without Batman keeping a lid on Gotham's corruption, the court starts to stretch its wings. The League follows Raish to Gotham, and there's nobody to stop them from attacking the court. Gotham City becomes ground zero for a goddamn war. And no Batman to save it. I guess that's our job now. Yeah. It is. And we know what we need to do. We root out the court, and we keep the League away from Gotham. I really miss him.
Talons, the labyrinth, all punishment for exposing the court. To think Jacob Kane ever thought we could be on the same side. The labyrinth wasn't just meant to kill us. The court wanted to get in our heads. It might have worked. We'll be okay, Tim. Will we? <laughs> Batman didn't kill people, but where would he stand on soldiers lining up to be reborn as these monsters? I used to be dead. You think I'm a monster? We have one setback. And this is where you go, Tim? Murder? I get steering him away from killing people, but the labyrinth was more than a setback, Babs. Don't talk about me like I'm not here. You're not Bruce. None of you are. Enough! Gotham practically lined up to kill Batman. Every time Bruce came home, bloodied, near death, I patched him up. Just as I now do for you. He was often angry, but he never stooped to their level. And neither will you. Alfred's right. Batman had a code. No matter how tough this gets, we can't betray it. The court is made up of Gotham's founding families. They'll protect their own like only family will. They may be related, but they aren't family. Not like we are. The evidence we uncovered against Kane at the hotel is pretty much bulletproof. Then our best course of action isn't war. It's prosecution. I don't think Kane's gonna honor a warrant. He will if we help the cops serve it. The same cops currently gunning for every cape in Gotham? I can think of at least one still on our side. Is the blindfold really necessary? Not anymore. Look at this place. Wait. Barbara? What are you doing here? Renee, glad you could make it. Welcome to the Belfry. You're back, girl. <laughs> did your father know? If he did, he never said. But now you know. If you're gonna help us take down Jacob Kane, we need to trust each other. Dick Grayson. Well, I guess you're Nightwing then. Is it that obvious? It's pretty obvious. You don't even like do a voice or anything. Robin. I don't think we've met out of costume. Actually, we've met. Like, five times. Oh, yeah. Tim Drake, right? We done laying our cards on the table? We got a plan to go over. Jason Todd. The dead walk among us. I get that a lot. You get what we needed? The judge actually signed off on the Jacob Kane charge. Conspiracy to murder Langstrom. Some solid detective work. If you could get Kane out of that hidey hole, I can make sure every honest cop in Gotham is waiting out front. Huh. But that won't be easy. This building is basically a tank. Oh, we know. Armored facade, anti-aircraft guns on the roof. That's why we have drones. I assume you don't have a permit for that. We absolutely do not. 
Gotta admit, Pennyworth, I was kind of hoping you were Batman and just retired or something. Hmm. While I'm flattered, the truth is unfortunately more grim. Hmm. I'm sorry to hear that. So, about that plan. The plan? Yes. You're gonna love it. To start, you'll rendezvous at the rally point in sight of the target, Kane Industries. You're doing what Bruce did. Fumbling in the dark, thinking you know what's best for Gotham, but you're fighting the wrong battle. The League of Shadows are fanatics who will slaughter half the city to purify it. So you're building a goddamn army to fight the League? To save Gotham from itself. Gotham needs hunters, our new knights. They thrive in the shadows like Bruce did, like you do. But unlike you, they know their place. Why wouldn't you have a sub? <clears throat> You're like a cockroach. Take your best shot. You get one. I'd only need one. But then I'd have to carry you. <laughs> I gave you a chance back at the orchard. But you failed me, like you failed Bruce. Maybe you should have stayed dead. Gotham won't accept the court is real, let alone believe I'm the voice. So what? They just have to believe you killed Langstrom. Uh, and what if I did? Huh? Where's the reporter who'll cover it? Or the cop who'll arrest me? Much less the judge who'll convict me. It's the judge's day off, but the rest are waiting outside for you. My wife is still the commissioner. I'll be free before sunup. Here you go, Montoya. Jacob Kane. Barely a scratch on him. <laughs> <laughs> Working with Vigilante's detective? Catherine will have your badge for this. Hell of a trade if it puts you away. Open your eyes! These corrupt cops are conspiring with vigilantes to put me away!
tell them I'm innocent. Don't give me that shit, Jacob. Don't you say another word. I can... Jacob! Jacob! Stupid, stupid man. We need to get these people out of here. Find who did this. Search everywhere. Search the rooftops. Go! Talia, Jacob Kane was coming along peacefully, and you murdered him! No, we murdered him. The League of Shadows thanks you for your collaboration. Bruce was never this helpful. Hmm. You lied to my face about not being in charge. How long have you been planning your takeover? Years? Decades. I have a clarity of vision that my father lacked. Without him, the League can reach its full potential. I'm surprised you didn't kill the old man yourself. I didn't need to. So now what? Hmm? I don't suppose you and your League will leave quietly. The Orchard Hotel was just the beginning. Our work in Gotham will serve as a beacon, a warning of what is to come. In a torrent of blood, we will purge corruption from this city, then the world. Your father used to make speeches like that. They didn't impress me either. Then I won't waste your time. I've only let you live this long because you were useful. I did remake you, after all. I remain myself. And I'm gonna take you down. For Bruce, and for me. Even Bruce would tell you. Nothing can stop the reckoning that's in motion. Farewell. Jacob in custody. We were finally gonna bring him in. And now, she's got everything she needs to start the next phase of her plan. She'll go after our allies first, to keep us out of the way. Exactly. That's why I already sent them a warning. Lucius is holing up in a secure location with a small security team. And Montoya's scrambling people she trusts. It won't be enough. They'll die without our help. League attacks. All over the city. It's already started. my networks. No sign of Talia anywhere. The League is still in Gotham. She's here. We just have to find her. Goddamn ninjas. So... This is weird. Weird like undead talons coming back to life, or weird like... <sighs> How do I keep losing this freaking game? Weird like there was this reroute situation that I was tracking. But then there were fluctuations, and now... I think I found Talia. What were you tracking? At first it looked like nothing, but now... Whoa. That's a lot of power that's been siphoned. Not necessarily definitive, except... Except? The power was diverted... here. Is an Arkham empty? Like, you know... Collapsed? It has been for a couple of years. 
And with our missing ninja friend. Here. She's only been there for a few weeks. Maybe it won't be too bad. Or this is a trap. She's too good to just let us find her. But we have a lead. We do have a lead. Yeah. Talia wasn't here just to mess with us. She's got something else up her sleeve. Well, guess it's time to go back to that asbestos-encrusted shithole. I can't stay here. I, uh... You know, you really should not be fighting with those injuries. <sighs> Chaos in Gotham City tonight uh... after another vicious attack in Robinson Park. There are reports across the city of flying creatures wreaking havoc. Police are urging citizens to stay calm and remain indoors. Alfred, I need my gear. The others are already on patrol. Once you are ready, I'm ready. Look, when I was a kid, I could hear gunfire almost every night outside our apartment. This is what I train for. To be strong enough to help people like the scared little boy I used to be. Besides, Alfred, you know I'm never gonna play it safe. I'm certain you already know what must be done. I'm going after Talia. She found a Lazarus pit in Gotham, and I can't let her keep it. I'm bringing the fight to her.
wonderful. It is a Lazarus pit. I saw what you left at Arkham. Sick, even for you. Did you know, child? A Lazarus pit can be used for more than just saving people from the brink of death. It has many purposes. In fact, a Lazarus pit can make a mind more malleable. More pliable to suggestion. Oh, do tell me more about the wonders of the Lazarus pits. Sometimes it's about more than your army. Sometimes it's about having the right general leading it. What? I wasn't good enough for you? That hurts. <laughs> you, like your precious Batman, were never able to save Gotham. I finally solved that problem. mind was broken by repeated exposures to the Lazarus pit. Unlike my father, I used that exposure to free Bruce's mind from his ridiculous oath. And you, you're right where we need you. Bruce's last test. Then we lead our new league into glory, remaking the world. Defeat this pretender. Take back the city that is your birthright. Bruce. <sighs> so you had to try out dying for yourself. <clears throat> Could you trust my intel just once? you with the Lazarus Pit. Remember how you brought me back? You have to fight for it this time! Report, Jason. We finished the Langstrom case. All of us, working together. But the Court of Owls is real. You found them. You're bringing in the voice, Lynn. <laughs> Come on. We'll both lose our street cred if anyone sees me helping you. <laughs> you don't have to prove yourself to anybody. Least of all, me. Let's go. I can deal with Talia later. <sighs> what the hell, Bruce? 
All you had to do was stand still, beloved! Let me dispose of this burden for both our sakes. No! <coughs> Please, Bruce. You can't. It's your turn, Jason. I know you won't give up. I should have left you in your grave. For his sake, Talia, I'm not gonna kill you. But this is gonna hurt you a lot more than it will me. joke. You, my dear Jason, so focused on hunting me down, you missed your own determined pursuer. Oh no, the fault is with you, Talia al Ghul. Your abomination led us here, and now you and it will die. <laughs> you will never bring death to an El Ghul. My beloved did train you well. <laughs> it is over. Now to our spoils. <sighs> Already hate this guy as much as the last one. Take heart! Your death has purpose. You die, so the court lives forever! You want this Lazarus pit? You go through me! Go! Deal with the permit! Without me. Become your own heroes. The knights that Gotham really needed. <coughs> Together you're stronger than the Batman ever could be. I'm so proud of all of you. And I'm sorry. What are you doing? You might want to run.
It's you! The rich want more! Politicians, you pander to your reckless demands! Police, who hurt the people they're supposed to protect! You're not gonna get this Lazarus pit! I won't let you. The Lazarus pit is gone. Blasted to bits. With the pit destroyed, Court of Owls has gone to ground, mostly. It's only a matter of time till they show up again. Talia got the hell out of Dodge. Laying low somewhere to plan her next move. Of course, she left a few of her League puppets behind to keep an eye on us. Or keep us busy. Both, probably. We check the Batwing, or what's left of it. He's dead. Gotham needs me. The court will try to cover this up, like they do everything else. But they're not the only ones watching. Exposing Jacob Kane was just the beginning. has terrorized this city for centuries. And they're not about to stop. But the days of no one talks about them are finished. I will find every last one of them. And bring their crimes to light. People of Gotham. You deserve to live without fear. I swear to you, I will not stop fighting until you can. If you're watching this... I'm Batman. Really, Dick? <laughs> Alfred had dinner ready an hour ago. How many versions of this are you gonna make? Let me check. In the event of my death at the hands of... Crazy Quilt? Seriously? What about the event of my death? Of starvation. Hear that? You're neglecting this poor kid. You promised we'd have dinner together as a family. You guys start, and I'll be right up. Oops. My hand slipped. But now you're up, so let's go. This is important. Would you just go? Or is I forgot to eat and starve to death on your list of videos? I mean, if you want some advice on being dead, I got you covered. Oh, this is gonna be good.
You're gonna need my password. Am not. video Bruce wanted planted. He knew how to make a cover story. <laughs> the footage is supposedly from a GCPD sting operation, exactly when Batman was last fighting Two-Face. You know, I'd almost forgotten he used to do stuff like this. <laughs> the best part is, he did it so often, no one's gonna realize this is from a different night. <laughs> I guess now we have to find someone else to play sexy distraction for us. <laughs> nope. I'll do it. I'm great at table dancing. Uh huh. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> wow, this uh, video is really blowing up on social media. Uh. I think it's a great idea. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> 